From the Channel3000.com Alert Center, this is News 3 Now at 6. An East High School teacher has pleaded not guilty to seven counts of attempting to produce child pornography. That same teacher chaperoned a trip to Minneapolis back in December where hidden cameras were found in students' hotel rooms. Amy Reed joined us from outside the federal courthouse where David Crutchin appeared just a couple hours ago. Amy? The courtroom was packed with parents and students who said that they had direct ties to what Crutchin is accused of, and our cameras aren't allowed inside, but we have a sketch of what that looked like. What you can't see from this sketch is that every seat was full, and what you can't hear was the tens of high school-aged girls who I could hear sniffling and crying, and that only got louder after Crutchin's lawyer entered a not guilty plea. He's accused of seven felony counts of attempted child pornography. An indictment unsealed today show he's accused of attempted attempting to make child porn on at least two dates with several victims. One of those dates in late October lines up with another high school trip he likely chaperoned. The other was in January of last year. And we know that this case is tied to the case in Minneapolis. Minneapolis police helped with this case today, and it also involved East High School students. And in court today, prosecutors said that Crutchin was uncooperative with Minneapolis police and accused him of lying to the police. And shortly after that incident, in Minneapolis, Madison Metropolitan School District put a staff member on leave. At the time, they said it was precautionary. They released a statement to us today on this. They said this news is incredibly disturbing to the MMSD family in our community. We want to assure you that MMSD will do everything we can do to support our students and community through this unimaginably challenging time. Crutchin will stay in custody at least until his next court date, which right now is scheduled for next week. All right, Amy, thank you to weather some Fog, freezing drizzle, flurries possible tonight. Let's get your first alert forecast with Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti. Gary? Eric, I don't think any of those will cause a big deal with travel, but uh, you still have to watch out for them. As we take a look at visible cloud track, you can see lots of clouds over southern Wisconsin, but the precipitation has been very light, mainly in the form of flurries and maybe a few uh, patches of freezing drizzle in there. Fog is starting to uh, show its way across southern Wisconsin. Visibility in Madison right now about seven miles. A few places seeing visibilities down to around five miles. I don't th think the fog will be particularly dense overnight. But look for cloudy skies overnight. Low temperatures dropping to the low 20s. Tomorrow, look for a high of 32 degrees with cloudy skies, some fog, maybe a little patchy freezing drizzle or flurries during the day. A milder weather's on the way for the weekend. I'll tell you how warm it'll get in just a few minutes. Beloit police have released the names of the five individuals arrested after a raid on a west side home. Rock County reporter Adam Duxter was there when it happened and joins us now from our Rock County Bureau at the Janesville Gazette with the latest. Adam? Well, Charlotte, this is the first bit of information we've gotten as to exactly what might have happened on Vine Street in Beloit yesterday. And now we're trying to piece together exactly why it happened. Now, Beloit police yesterday said they worked with Janesville police and the state's Department of Criminal Investigation to conduct a search warrant yesterday morning. Now, at that time, police say they were looking for one individual in particular, but ended up taking these five into custody. Now, between the five, more than 10 prior drug felonies combined, including a history of manufacturing and dealing heroin. Uh, police say all five were taken to jail on parole violations and were still expecting a timetable as to when each of these five might make their initial appearance in Rock County Court. And as they do, we'll hear from prosecutors exactly why they were being watched by the DCI in the first place. Adam Dexter reporting live tonight from Rock County. Adam, thank you. The World Health Organization has now declared the coronavirus outbreak a public health emergency. The number of people infected in mainland China is above 8,000, and there are now a, there is now a sixth confirmed case in the U.S., marking the first time the virus has spread person to person. Now, a local company is directly tied to helping people with coronavirus, the GE Healthcare plant in Madison, making respirators that help people breathe. They say the demand has increased about 20% since coronavirus started spreading. Staff say they don't see a, an inc the increase in demand slowing down anytime soon as the virus continues to spread. They're actually hiring 10 more people to help them keep up. Health experts, though, are emphasizing the flu remains a bigger threat in Wisconsin right now. Tomorrow, all classes will be canceled for K-12 through students in Waniwak due to the flu and other illnesses. The school building will be disinfected over the weekend. St. Paul Lutheran School, also in Waniwak, will also be closed tomorrow for the same reason. Wisconsin lawmakers are introducing legislation designed to curb pollution from PFAS chemicals. The package includes money to research how to destroy PFAS, sample wildlife and municipal water supplies for PFAS containers, 
contamination and direct the DNR to create limitations for air and water levels. After President Trump signed the USMCA trade agreement yesterday, farmers in South Central Wisconsin say more needs to be done to help the agriculture industry. Now, Dwayne Hinchley and his wife Tina are dairy farmers in Cambridge. They call the trade agreement NAFTA all over again. They've had to expand their farm and diversify their business in order to keep running. Other farms, though, have not been as fortunate. Wisconsin lost 10% of its dairy farms last year alone, according to the Farm Bureau. The Hinchleys hope their voices aren't lost as President Trump and Democrats try to win their votes. Being this an election year, um, we are less than 2% of the population. I'm thinking that we might get missed in uh, who they're picking to uh, focus on. Governor Tony Evers has called for a special session to address the crisis in the agriculture industry with an $8.5 million package that aims to boost exports, help farmers diversify crops, and provide mental health funding. Just four days away now from the Iowa caucus, the race tightening between the top Democratic contenders and our political reporter Amy Reid will have live coverage of the caucus starting on Sunday, and you can follow her updates on News 3 Now and the Channel 3000 app. UW-Whitewater officials held a listening session today as it looks to find ways to trim costs in the face of a budget shortfall. The chancellor, Dr. Dwight Watson, is citing an 8% drop in student enrollment over the past three years. He wrote it could mean layoffs, reduction in appointment times, and contract non-renewals. Campus leaders are already trying to get a head start on how to handle next fall's academic program so it has minimal impact on students. But we're doing our best to estimate and anticipate what our budget's going to be so that we don't overstaff for the fall schedule with courses and instruction that we can't afford given the budget that we're going to have starting July 1. Two-thirds of the savings figure to come in the area of academic affairs. UW-Whitewater is not alone. In recent years, campuses in Stevens Point and Oshkosh have considered things like early retirements and even cutting several majors in order to deal with budget issues. The Hamill Music Center on UW-Madison's campus is in its first year of being open for students' performances and recitals. And tonight, one room in the new building is being dedicated in honor of a music school graduate. Madeline O'Neill shares the emotional story behind it song is Catch the Wind. Music is about more than the performance. There's also the behind the scenes. The green room plays a much more important role to the musicians than most people would ever realize. The green room is for musicians to hang out before and after taking the stage. And particularly, I think younger musicians really appreciate it. When it comes to music, you're never too young. We have a picture of Daniel sitting at the piano when he's about two years old in diapers. His mother said that when he was in utero and she would sing in the choir that he would kick along to the beat of the music. So that was kind of always like he was destined to become a musician. David Myers was more than proud when his son Daniel followed in his footsteps. He surpassed me when he was about 12, but I didn't tell him for a couple of years, but I think he knew it. I remember being very impressed with his uh, piano abilities as a, as a youngster. UW-Madison Emeritus Professor John Stevens remembers Daniel from playing piano at their shared church to when Daniel joined him at the School of Music. He certainly left a mark. He had a, a wonderful sense of humor. He was very friendly, in, in my opinion, very, very smart. A few months after graduating with his music degree in 2008, Daniel died in a car crash along with two other students. It was months before I could even look at the piano again. It's just a song about somebody I'd like to be with, but I can't. Behind the scenes, healing is hard. First thing I played. But life carries on. And I cry. All the way through. And so does a song. I said to my piano teacher, I don't know why I pick things that are so hard that I can barely ever play them. And she said, that's how you stay close to Dave. That's true. More than a performance, music is healing. And along with a green room named in his honor, it's another way for Daniel to live on. It's really special to us.
John Stevens, the music professor you heard from, actually composed a piece of music in Dan's honor a few years ago based off a composition of Dan's using piano and violin. Those were the two instruments Dan played. Music was so important to Dan, it was really nice to be able to contribute to his memory through a piece of music that will exist forever. That will be played at tonight's dedication ceremony at the Hamill Music Center starting at 7. Now David, who's Daniel's father, is my great uncle, so I was related to Daniel as well, so I know how meaningful this is to our family. Wow. That is a beautiful uh, way to honor him. Mm, thank you. We appreciate Absolutely. you sharing that story with us, Maddie. Thank you so thank much. Thank you. Still ahead on News 3 Now at 6, Delta Airlines announces it's changing their uniforms. This after hundreds of employees filed a lawsuit alleging the clothing made by Wisconsin-based Land's End was making them sick. More on how long that change will take. Stay with us. I'm a little old to count down the days, but my ski trip to Cascade Mountain with my cousin each year, so much fun. We used to pretend like we were flying. Now, we really do. My dad and my uncle like that we still <laughs> ski free. But Noah and I, we just have fun. See you there. What makes you one of a kind? I can ride a unicycle. Acting's my passion. I love this. Time to embrace your uniqueness by taking the BU Pledge. A promise to celebrate yourself and your friends for being exactly who you are. Visit Channel 3000's Time for Kids page to sign the online pledge and enter to win cool giveaways. Come on and take the BU Pledge. SSM Health and News 3 Now encourage you to take part in the BU movement. Get more help with your laundry at the Laundry Cleanup Sale now at the Brothers Main. Save time and money with the latest in laundry from Whirlpool, Maytag, and Amana with 0% financing for up to 18 months. Get even more help with free delivery on washer-dryer pairs and our risk-free 30-day price and satisfaction guarantee. That's why we're the Moore Store. It's the Laundry Cleanup Sale with more selection, more savings, and more help with your laundry. Only at the Brothers Main, your local store for more since 1938. When we say every Culver's Butter Burger is cooked to order, here's what we mean. Can I get a Butter Burger? The Culver's Deluxe, please. Ketchup, mustard, pickle, and onion? Craig Culver, I'm going to cook for you. Follow me. I would love Come on, to. Man. Fresh beef. It looks great. And we're looking for that nice sear, just like we got right here. That's where that great steak flavor comes from. Totally fresh, made to order the way you want it. Searing it to perfection is really cool to see that. Welcome to Delicious. The Henry Vila Zoo tweeted an update today that donors have raised $5,500 for Australian wildlife. The zoo installed donation boxes for anyone who wanted to help save animals from the devastating wildfires there. You can also donate online on the zoo's website. The fundraiser will continue until the end of February. A group of researchers at the UW has a simple goal for a complicated issue revolutionize the plastic industry. All of the bags, wrappers, and other items we throw out and recycle are actually complex mixtures of different plastics. With current technology, it can be really tough to extract each individual component and bring it back to its original form so it can be reused. That's the process George Huber and his team of engineers and scientists are working to improve. Technology to recycle waste plastics is very inefficient. It can only work in some type, very pure waste plastics, and uh, you lose the properties of the plastics when you, when you recycle them. So the technology is not very efficient, and it's very too expensive. Only News 3 Now is looking at the impact this research could have on the recycling process and just how much of the plastic we use cannot be used again. Catch that in-depth report tonight at 10. Delta Airlines plans to replace the uniforms that caused health problems for hundreds of employees. More than 500 employees filed a federal lawsuit against Dodgeville-based Land's End, alleging their uniforms caused breathing difficulty, skin blisters, migraines, and other issues. Although the uniforms were certified to be safe, a Delta spokesperson says it is still true that employees were having reactions. Delta hopes to have permanent uniforms in place in late 2021. In the meantime, new clothing will be available in May. The change will cost 
cost millions of dollars. Minnesota-based Caribou Coffee will now be offered on all Sun Country flights. So you'll be able to get your caffeine fixed the next time you're flying out of Dane County Regional to destinations like Austin, Texas, Fort Myers, and Nashville. Guests can purchase a can of Caribou's original crafted cold brew, which includes a hint of real sugar and non-dairy cream. Sun Country Airlines, based in the Twin Cities, carries three other Minnesota-based beverage brands on its flights. Coming up in sports, Badgers basketball players are reacting to Kobe King leaving and another Badger being suspended. Kevin shares their thoughts coming up. And chances for freezing drizzle and flurries tonight, but a little warmer this weekend. And Gary will have your first alert forecast next. What are you thinking? Thinking about burger fries and some pie. You know it's 9 o'clock in the morning. Well, then bring the pie first. It's back and better than ever. Hurry in today for Perkins Burger Fries and Pie Combo. Enjoy any burger, fries, and a slice of our famous pie for just $9.99. It's dinner, dessert, and a deal only at Perkins. And now you can order online with PerkinsToGo.com. When looking for a TV and internet provider, we know you have a choice. This is Jessica. She still has satellite TV. Well, I get tons of HD. Spectrum has tons of HD, and we love Spectrum's 24-hour local news channel. Plus, we get exclusive access to premium original content with Spectrum Originals. I don't have that. Get Spectrum TV from $44.99 a month. Call 833-976-4499. Spectrum Internet starts at 200 megabits with no data caps and a free modem. We have to get internet from another company and it isn't nearly as fast. Spectrum Internet, $44.99 a month. I'd switch, but I'm stuck in a contract and would have to pay up to $480 to cancel. Spectrum has no contracts and they'll pay up to $500 to help you out of yours. That's it. I'm switching to Spectrum. Get Spectrum TV and Internet from $44.99 a month each. Call 833-976-4499. Do you have sleep apnea like me? Then you know the hassle of dragging your big bulky CPAP device with you whenever you leave home. That's why you're going to love the Transcend Mini CPAP, the world's first portable mini CPAP that's both super compact and lightweight. It's as small as a can of soda, weighs just a pound, and has a battery pack about the size of a deck of cards. Go online or call now to try the Transcend Mini CPAP for 10 nights risk-free. Transcend delivers what I need to sleep well, yet it's smaller than my shaving kit, so it's easy to take with me anywhere. It's even FAA compliant, so I can finally sleep comfortably while flying. In fact, I can sleep comfortably anywhere now. Bye-bye, big and bulky. Now you can have the freedom to sleep everywhere with Transcend Mini CPAP. Go online now to one of these authorized Mini CPAP dealers or to a CPAP store near you, or you can buy direct. Try Transcend Mini CPAP risk-free. Call 1-800-924-0242 or visit MyTranscend.com. Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti joins us now with a look at our warming forecast. Yeah, um, you know, it hasn't been very cold this winter. And, you mm -hmm. know, this is the day that Madison had its all-time record low temperature. Back in 1951, before you guys were born. And even before I was born, too. So that was quite a, quite a long time ago. But this date, on 1951, Madison had a low temperature of 37 below zero. Lone Rock was down to, I believe it was 54 below zero. It was the coldest temperature in the country that morning. Uh, our coldest temperature so far this winter, zero on the 19th. We have not been below zero yet this winter. And I think the latest we've ever been below zero. We've, we've been below zero every single winter, but the latest was in early March. So we'll have to see whether or not uh, that changes. I, I don't see any really cold air ahead, at least for the first part of February. Three things you need to know in the forecast. There'll be some patchy fog tonight, tomorrow, and tomorrow night. I don't think it's going to be widespread or dense. There'll be some flurries as well as some freezing drizzle for tonight, tomorrow, and also tomorrow night. And then mild weather moves in for the weekend. Upper 30s for Saturday and middle 40s for Sunday when we could be, be, could be flirting with a record high temperature, which is 47 set back in 1987. Visibility right now, generally between about 5 and 10 miles. Madison at 7 miles. Lone Rock down to 4 miles. But the thicker 
thicker fog is out to the west in Iowa and Minnesota. I don't expect it to be very thick here. And you can see a high resolution Doppler radar. A couple of flurries of snow north of the Dells. Uh, that's where it seems to be where most of the flurries are right now. There could also be a little patchy freezing drizzle. It just doesn't show up on radar. We'll have to contend with that for about the next 24 hours. But the weather pattern means very active in the Pacific Ocean. Very cold air up in the Gulf of Alaska and very warm air uh, down toward the Hawaiian Islands. And this jet stream just kind of plows all the way across the ocean and uh, Pacific Ocean and into the uh, central part of North America. But right now, the main branch of the jet stream, the polar jet stream, staying up to the north, and that's keeping the coldest air locked up. Every once in a while, you get one of these little wiggles in the jet stream that lifts the air and causes some clouds and flurries and some freezing drizzle like we're seeing right now. But of more importance is this area of clearing out across Montana. Eventually, that will bring us some sunshine probably towards Sunday. Right now, low pressure is located just out to our west. Things very quiet around here, lots of clouds and a few flurries. Future track, the clouds continue on. Again, a few flurries, maybe some patchy freezing drizzle through tomorrow. And Saturday, I think we'll stay dry, but you can see the clouds lingering around for much of the day. But here comes the clearing. And by Sunday morning, that moves in. We'll probably see some sunshine for the first time in about 10 days, and temperatures will be in the mid-40s. Could be some snow next week. Right now, it looks like the heaviest snow will be just to our south, but a couple of inches can't be ruled out. Tomorrow, cloudy skies, just some patchy fog, a couple of flurries, maybe a little patchy freezing drizzle or drizzle with a high of 32. And that 7 to 10 day forecast, you can see those temperatures on the mild side, at least through Monday, 40s for Sunday and Monday. Then some light snow Tuesday and Wednesday as temperatures drop into the upper 20s and low 30s. And seasonably cold weather at the end of the week, maybe a little more snow toward the following weekend. Wisconsin head coach Greg Gard didn't hold back when defending his guys, the ones who stayed and the one who left. I'm going to sports you up next. News 3 Now First Alert Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. When their cry is a different kind of cry. When you know they're sick, but are afraid to know how sick they really are. That's when you want answers. When you need answers. Because when it's your child. Your baby. It's different. This is where you'll find doctors unlike any other doctors, where we treat the untreatable and conquer the seemingly unconquerable. UW Health. Remarkable medicine. Remarkable care. Beat the cold with hot deals during Steinhoffel's winter sale. Save 30% store-wide plus an extra 10% off. Save big on this Lazy Boy Rocker Recliner, now $449. American-made sofa, now $539. These three American-made solid wood beds are under $799. And get an extra 10% off one of our most popular American-made solid wood dining sets. Plus, get 40% off all Canadel. These hot deals won't last long, so hurry in. Only at Steinhoffel's. The biggest and best RV event in the Midwest is back. The News 3 Now. Madison Camper and RV show and sale. See over a mile's worth of RVs, camping equipment, and campgrounds under one roof. Tickets are just $10, and kids are free. Seniors, you're welcome at half price on Friday. Meet gridiron great Gilbert Brown Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Find out more and get your VIP ticket at MadisonRVShow.com. See you at the Alliant Energy Center, January 31st, February 1st, and 2nd. Our big pet care sale is going on now at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. We're your animal experts with great deals on a massive selection of pet food, supplies, and more. Right now, get $10 off assorted bags of blue buffalo dog food. Get an instant $20 Farm and Fleet gift card when you buy a Soresto flea and tick collar for cats or dogs. And special buy Aspen Pet pillow beds are only $8.99 while supplies last. Don't miss our big pet care sale going on now at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. It's the annual RV show and sale you don't want to miss at Interstate RV. January 30th through February 2nd. Great RV show pricing just up the road, Highway 51 point at. News 3 Now's Amy Reed reports live from the Iowa caucuses starting Sunday. Hi everyone, if you are in desperate need of some sunshine, Chris has some good news for you. He'll have his latest in the weekend forecast. And we're looking ahead to the big game on Sunday. We'll tell you why the colors the teams are wearing in the Super Bowl might make a difference. See you Friday at 4.30.
Stick with me because there's a lot to unravel for the Wisconsin men's basketball program over the past week. The team found out Saturday that guard Kobe King had decided to leave the team for personal reasons. Went out and played what Greg Gard called a pretty good 35 minutes at Iowa, but still had to deal with a losing a starter in January when the team's fighting for an NCAA tournament spot. Head coach Greg Gard addressed the timing of King's departure, among other things, this afternoon. There's never good timing. Um, just like any injury or what we went through with Micah Potter, um, there's never good timing. But again, you, you adjust to that and you support it and you help people through it. And uh, like I said, my staff has been phenomenal. Um, my, the team and the guys in the locker room have been supportive of each other and supportive of Kobe. And uh, so you just uh, work your way through it the best you can. Guard said he'll vouch for Brad Davison's character until the day he dies. The Badgers found out last night that Davison's been suspended for Saturday's game against Michigan State for what the conference called a violation of the sportsmanship policy and a pattern of similar behavior. Guard said he's known Davison since junior high and he's standing by his guy 100%. I'm not going to stand here and let or sit here and let um, anyone trample on the character of one of my guys. I will draw the line and go to bat for my guys and have their have their back that that and any of the guys that are coming in the future, the nine they're going to roll in the next two years. We play within the rules and when there's a violation, he fouled. I agree with that. Adjudicated as as appropriately defined, but let's not cross the line and, and trample on somebody's character. So a teammate bails on the team. Another gets suspended. You have Michigan State coming to town Saturday. You're fighting for a spot in the postseason. You have to deal with social media. Other than that, being a student athlete for the Badger basketball team is pretty easy. Guards Demetri Trice and Brevin Pritzel both spoke after practice today, saying they support their brother and Kobe King. They don't like the Davidson suspension, but they're still going to have to show up to work every day. There's nothing we can do about it. We can't change that. So it's on us who are still here, like Meech said, you know, to take the step forward offensively, defensively, you know, to make up for what isn't there for that one game and then going forward. So it's really on this collective unit, you know, have a great day of practice both days in preparation. You know, make sure our minds are all focused, bodies are prepared for this big game Saturday. You know, that's really what it means is, you know, continuing to stick with each other and then focus on the task at hand. All-star captains Giannis and LeBron find out the pool of reserve players they'll get to pick from in next week's draft. The 69th All-Star Game tips February 16th in Chicago, and when it does, there will be big rule changes. It took me, it'll take me too long to explain every detail, but the first three quarters will all start with a score of 0-0. Start of the fourth quarter, the leader's total score will have 24 added to it in honor of Kobe Bryant. First one to that score wins and there will be hundreds of thousands of dollars donated to charity. I can't, I'm distracted because I wonder what it's like to jump that high and like have somebody, you know, throw me an alley-oop on not a goal in the driveway when you're younger that, you know, that you would lower or on an earth hole. Jump off a garbage can. Yeah, jump off something and have my head be 11 feet <laughs> off the ground. I donate a lot to charity if I could see you do that. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Get the checkbook. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. yeah. Maybe for yeah. medical expenses. Sure. Too. <laughs> yes. well, right now, there's a little fog out there. Maybe a couple of flurries are really not amounting to very much. Uh, best chances of seeing flurries, at least in the short term, are north of the Dells. There's the uh, fog situation of visibility now eight miles in Madison. So the fog not too dense, but it will be out there for the for tonight, tomorrow, and tomorrow night. Look for a high tomorrow of 32 two degrees with the clouds continuing but when the sun returns on Sunday will be near a record high at 44 and then uh, temperatures a little colder next week and we'll see some snow chances Tuesday and Wednesday. All right Gary thanks thanks for joining us for News 3 now at 6. Have a great evening and we'll see you back here at 10.